Hi guys, welcome to my vlog, Our Fun Delta Story. I'm gonna tell about you, tell to you about Egypt. Egypt, officially the Arab Republic of Egypt, is a transcontinental country spanning the northeast corner of Africa, or and southwest corner of Asia via a land bridge formed by the Sinai Peninsula. It is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north and the Gaza Strip of Palestine and Israel to the northeast and the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south and Libya to the west. The Gulf of Aqaba in the northeast separates Egypt from Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Cairo is the capital and largest city of Egypt while Alexandria, the second largest city, is an important industrial and tourist hub at the Mediterranean coast. At approximately 100 million inhabitants, Egypt is the 14th largest, 14th most populated country in the world. Egypt has one of the longest histories of any country, tracing its heritage along the Nile Delta back to the 6th until 4th millennia BCA, consider, considered a cradle of civilization. Ancient Egypt saw some of the earliest developments of writing, agriculture, urbanization, organized religion, and central government. Iconic monuments such as the Giza necropolis and its great sphinx, as well as the ruins of Memphis, Thebes, Karnak, and the Valley of the Kings reflect this legacy and remain a significant focus of scientific and popular interest. Egypt's long and rich cultural heritage is an integral part of its national identity, which reflects its unique transcontinental location being simultaneously Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and North African. Egypt was an early and important center of Christianity but was largely Islamist in the 7th century and remains a predominantly Sunni Muslim country. Albeit with a significant Christian minority, along with other lesser practiced faiths, modern Egypt dates back to 1922 when it gained independence from the British Empire as a monarchy. Following the 1952 revolution, Egypt declared itself a republic, and in 1958 it met with Syria to form the United Arab Republic, which dissolved in 1961. Throughout the second half of the 20th century, Egypt endured social and religious strife and political instability fighting several armed conflicts with Israel in 1948, 1956, 1967, and 1973, and occupying the Gaza Strip intermittently until 1967. In 1978, Egypt signed the Camp David Accords, officially withdrawing from the Gaza Strip and recognizing Israel. The country continues to face challenges from political unrest, including the recent 2011 revolution and its affirmative to terrorism and economic underdevelopment. Egypt's current government, a semi-presidential republic led by Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Islam is the official religion of Egypt and Arabic is the official language with over 100 million inhabitants. Egypt is the most populous country in North Africa, the Middle East, and the Arab world, the third most populous in Africa after Nigeria and Ethiopia, and the 14th most populous in the world. The great majority of its people live near the banks of the Nile River, an area of about 400,000 square kilometers, where the only arable land is found. The last regions of the Sahara Desert which constitute most of Egypt's territory, are surprisingly inhabited. About half, half of Egypt residents live in urban areas, with most spread across the densely populated center of Greater Cairo, Alexandria, and other major cities in the Nile Delta. Egypt is considered to be a regional power in North Africa, the Middle East, and the Muslim world.
and a middle power worldwide. It is, a it is a developing country ranking 16th, I mean ranking 116th uh, on the Human Development Index. It has a diversified economy which is the third largest in Africa, the 33rd largest economy by nominal GDP, and the 20th largest globally by PPP. Egypt is founding member of the United Nations, the non aligned movement, the Arab League, the African Union, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the World Youth Forum. History There is evidence of rock carvings along the Nile Terrace and in desert oases, and the 10 million BCA, a culture of hunter gatherers and feces, was replaced by a green grinding culture. Climate change or over grazing around 8,000 BCA began to desiccate the pastoral lands of Egypt. Forming the Sahara, early tribal people migrated to the Nile River where they developed a settled agricultural economy and more centralized society. By about 600,000 BCE, a Neolithic culture rooted in the Nile Valley during the Neolithic era. Several predynastic cultures developed independently in Upper and Lower Egypt. The Pandarian culture and the successors Nakata series are generally regarded as precursors to dynastic Egypt. The earliest known Lower Egyptian site Merimda predates the Badarian by about 700 years. Contemporaneous Lower Egyptian communities coexisted with their southern counterparts for more than 2,000 years. Remaining culturally distinct but maintaining frequent contact through trade, the earliest known evidence of Egyptian hieroglyphic inscriptions appears during the pre-dynastic period of Nakada tree for three vessels dates to about 300 3200 BCE in 525 BCE the powerful Achaemenid Persians led by Cambyses II began their conquest of Egypt eventually capturing the Paroh Samtik tree at the battle of Pelusium Cambyses II then assumes that former title of Paroh but ruled Egypt from his home of Susa in Persia in modern now Iran leaving Egypt under the control of Satrapi, the entire 27th dynasty of Egypt from 525 to 402 BCE, save or for Petubesti III, was an entirely Persian ruled period, with the Achaemenid emperors all being granted the title of Baroth, a few temporarily successful reforms against the Persians marked the 5th century BCE. But Egypt was never able to permanently overthrow the Persian. The 13th dynasty was the last native ruling dynasty during the Pharaonic Epoch. It fell to the Persian against in 343 BCE. After the last native Pharaoh king Nectanebo II was defeated in battle, this 31st dynasty of Egypt, however, did not last long as the Persian were the top led several decades later by Alexander the Great, the Macedonian Greek general of Alexander. Ptolemy I Soter founded the Ptolemaic dynasty. The Ptolemaic kingdom was a powerful Hellenistic state, extending from the southern Syria in the east and Syrian to the west and south to the frontier with Nubia. Alexandria became the capital city and a center of Greek culture and trade. To gain recognition by the native Egyptian populace, they named themselves as the successors to the Pharaoh, the latter Ptolemy's took on Egyptian traditions, had themselves portrayed on public monuments in Egyptian style and dress, and participated in Egyptian religious life. 
The Byzantines were about to regain control of the country after a brief Sassanid Persian invasion early in the 7th century amidst the Byzantines. Sasanian War of 602 and until 628, during which they established a new salt leaf province for 10 years known as Sasanian Egypt. Until 639, until 42, I mean 642, when Egypt was invaded and conquered by the Islamic Caliphate by the Muslim Arabs. When they defeated the, the Byzantine armies in Egypt, the Arabs broke Islam to the country. Sometime during this period, Egyptians began to blend in their new faith with indigenous beliefs and practices, leading to various Sufi orders that have flourished to hit this day. Their earliest rites had survived the period of Coptic Christianity. Egypt was conquered by the Ottoman Turks in 15 and 17, after which it became a province of the Ottoman Empire. The defensive militarization limits its civil society and economic institutions. The weakening of the economic system combined with the effects of plagues left Egypt vulnerable to foreign invasion. Portuguese traders took over the trade between 1687 and 1731. Egypt experienced six famines. The 1784 famine occurred only one six of its population. After the French were expelled, the power was seized in 1805 by, Mu by Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Albanian military commander of the Ottoman army in Egypt. While he carried the title of the carry of Egypt. His subordination to the Ottoman port was merely nominal. Muhammad Ali massacred the Mamluks and established a dynasty that was the rule of Egypt until the revolution of 1952. Egypt under the Muhammad Ali dynasty remains nominally an Ottoman province. It was granted the status of an autonomous vassal state or caliphate in 1867, a legal status which was to remain in place until 1914, although the Ottoman had no power or presence. The Suez Canal, built in partnership with the French, was completed in 1869. Its construction was financed by European banks Large sums also went to patronage and corruption. New taxes caused popular discontent in 1875. Ismail avoided bankruptcy by selling all Egypt shares in the canal to the British government. Within three years, this led to the impulsion of British and French controllers who sat in the Egyptian cabinet and with the financial power of the bondholders behind them, where the real power in the government. In 1914, the Ottoman Empire entered World War I in alliance with the Central Empires. Khedive Abbas II, who had grown increasingly hostile to the British in preceding years, decided to support the motherland in war. Following such a decision, the British forcibly removed him, power, him from power and replaced him with his brother Hussein Kamal. Kamel, I mean Hussein Kamel. Following independence from the United Kingdom, Sultan Fuad I assumes the title of King of Egypt. Despite being nominally independent, the kingdom was still under British military occupation. And the UK still had great influence over the state. Wow. British infantry near E.I. Alemin, 17 of July 1942, the new government drafted and implemented a constitution in 1923 based on a parliamentary system. The Nationalist War, War Party won a landslide victory in the 1923 until 1992-24 election and Sad Jagot was appointed as the new prime minister. 
In 1936, the Anglo-Egyptian Treaty was concluded and British troops withdrew from Egypt. Except from the Suez Canal, the Suez Canal, the treaty did not resolve the question of Sudan, which under the term of the existing Anglo-Egyptian Condominium Agreement of 1899 stated that Sudan should be jointly governed by Egypt and Britain but with real power remaining in a British hand. Following the 1952 revolution by the Free Officers Movement, the rule of Egypt passed to, mili passed to military. Yeah, that's passed to military hands and all political parties were banned. On 18 of June 1953, the Egyptian Republic was declared with General Muhammad Naguib as the first president of the Republic. Serving in that capacity for a little under one and a half years. Economy Egypt's economy depends mainly on agriculture, media, petroleum exports, natural gas, and tourism. There are also more than 3 million Egyptians working abroad mainly in Libya, Saudi Arabia, the Persian Gulf, and Europe. The completion of the Aswan Hyde Dam in 1970 and the resultant Lake Nasser have altered the time how honored place of the Nile River in the agriculture and ecology of Egypt. A rapidly growing population limited arable land and, uh, and dependence on the Nile will continue to overtax resources and stress the economy. The government has invested in communications and physical infrastructure. Egypt has received United States foreign aid since 1979, an average of 2.2 billion per year, and is the third largest receiving of saxophone from the United States following by the Iraq war Egypt's, Egypt's economy mainly relies on debt sources of income. The reason remittance from Egyptians working abroad and revenues from the Swiss Canal. Egypt has developed energy market based on coal, oil, natural gas, and hydropower. Substantial coal deposits in the northeast, Sinai, and our mines, and the rate of about 600,000 tons and this is per year guys oil and gas are produced in the western desert region the gulf of suez and the nile delta egypt has huge reserves of gas estimate and 2180 cubic kilometers wow and lng up to 2012 exported to many countries in 2013, the Egyptian General Petroleum said the country will cut export of natural gas and tell major industry to slow output this summer to avoid an energy crisis and step of political unrest. Reuters has reported Egypt is counting on top liquid natural gas exporter Qatar to obtain additional gas volumes in summer while encouraging factories to plan their annual maintenance. For those months of peak demand, said AGPC chairman Tariq al Barkatawi, Egypt produces its own energy but has been a net oil importer since 2008 and is rapidly becoming a net importer of natural gas. Economic conditions have started to improve considerably after a period of stagnation due to the adoption of more liberal economic policies by the government as well as increased revenues from tourism and a booming stocks market in its annual report. The International Monetary Fund or IMF has raped Egypt as one of the top countries in the world for undertaking economic reforms. Some major economic reforms undertaken by the government since 2003 include a dramatic slashing of customs and tariffs 
A new taxation law implemented in 2005 decreased corporate taxes from 40% to the current 20%, resulting a state's 100% increase in tax revenue by 2006. Although one of the main obstacles still facing the Egyptian economy is the limited vehicle down of will or to the outbreak population, many Egyptian practice their government for higher prices of basic goods while their standards of living or purchasing power remains relatively stagnant. Corruption is often seen by Egyptians as the main impediment to further economic growth. The government promised major reconstruction of the country's infrastructure using money paid for the newly acquired third mobile license is about $3 billion by a in 2006. In the Corruption Perception Index 2013, Egypt was ranked 114, of, uh, 114 out of 177. An estimated 2.7 million Egyptians abroad contribute actively to the development of their country through remittances. $7.8 billion in 2009. As well as circulation of human and social capital and investment, remittances money earned by Egyptians living abroad and sent home reached a record $21 billion in 2012, according to the World Bank. Egyptian society is moderately unequal in terms of income distribution with an estimated 35-40% and of Egypt's population earnings less than the equivalent of $2 a day, while only around 2-3% and may be considered wealthy. Okay guys, that's it. We talk about Egypt. Thank you for watching. See you soon in another video.